What's good? What's going on? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, coming to you via the YouTube airways. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. In today's show, man, we got a we got a real, real funny one for you. It's kind of interesting, man. But when you come across the video, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you got your post notifications on so you'll know every time Simply Ball dropping drops a hot banger. And if it's your first time coming across the channel and coming across the platform, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Share the video out. Post a comment. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I see everybody in the comment section. Hashtag salute. And you know what my mantra is. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. <laughs> well, today's show, man. We're going to get right off into it, man. It seems that LeBron James is headline news. And it seems like LeBron James got the haters out in full force. LeBron got the haters out in full force. Now, you know, Saturday night was the championship game of the end season tournament. And it came down to two teams, the Indiana Pacers and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers end up beating the Indiana Pacers and becoming the first team to win the in-season tournament championship, and LeBron James was named the MVP. Now, a lot of people said that Anthony Davis should have won the MVP, but from a whole tournament perspective, LeBron James was averaging 26 points eight rebounds, seven assists, shooting 56% from the field, over 60% from the three-point line, and over 80% from the foul line. Now, Anthony Davis in that closeout game to win the championship, he was dominant, 41 and 20. Five, you know, five assists, a couple block shots. He was dominant. It was a Shaq-like performance in a closeout game. Now, a lot of people say if AD can give the Lakers that consistently, they could win an NBA championship. But that's not what this is all about. This is all about LeBron James got these haters out in full force. Now, when they came up with this at the beginning of the year, Adam Silver sat down and wanted to, you know, increase, you know, the views and get some incentives you know for the early start of the basketball season so the competition has revved up early in the season because of the way the structure was for the end season tournament where you had to play in certain groups and the lakers finished off their group five and oh they were six and oh through the whole thing um the group that they was in um they played the utah jazz they played phoenix twice um, they played Portland, um, had a couple easy games. A lot of people said, well, it was carved out for the Lakers to win this and for LeBron to be named the MVP. Well, you got to go out there and perform. LeBron's 38 years old, be 39 in two weeks. But a lot of people said that Adam Silver carved this out to boost LeBron James' legacy for the comparison between Michael Jordan in the GOAT debate. And if he wins this championship, will this consider another ring for LeBron James? So a lot of haters then came out and said, oh, he's, you know, he got five rings now. That's something that he's saying, something that he went and posted on his um, Twitter, and then he took it down. There's a lot of internet trolls out there. There's a lot of people making videos, um, trolling anything that, you know, LeBron James does because they trying to minimize what LeBron James is accomplishing to big up the person that they represent. So you have a lot of Kobe fans that are pissed off because a lot of people are saying they count this championship as a ring for LeBron James to match Kobe Bryant at five. That's not the case. I mean, Adam Silver put this game in place For the incentives, you know, LeBron James, you know, he took this business like, like he stated, the guys that was on the bench that are making less money, 
it was five hundred thousand dollars on the line now you think in a competitive atmosphere the competitor that lebron is he's not going to take this serious rest in peace to the late great kobe bryant if he had a chance to be involved in something like this with the competitive nature that kobe has he would go out and treat it as business too he would try to win same thing with michael jordan it just so happened adam silver implemented this in this year so somebody has to be the first to do it and the lakers was the first to do it lebron was the first person to win the mvp but a lot of people have a problem with that because they said well they celebrated in the locker room they had the champagne they had the goggles me personally i was surprised that the nba really provided all that for the lakers after they won the championship a lot of people were saying like lebron was celebrating like he actually won another nba title well if you look at it it was an end season tournament title i mean it's it's a title you know what i'm saying but you don't count that toward an additional ring because i don't think they get no rings for it you know what i'm saying but reports came out today that they're going to hang another banner on december 18th for the end season tournament championship so but the haters are out there's videos out there people are pissed off at lebron why y'all mad at lebron now, if your team would have happened to win it, would y'all be treating it the same way? I think a lot of this comes because it is LeBron James. You know, a lot of people have a lot of hate toward LeBron James. You can call him goofy. You can call him what you want to call him. But a lot of people do not want his resume to keep building because these are the people that are diehard Kobe Bryant fans and diehard Michael Jordan fans. But if you're looking at basketball from the eye test and what you see, sometimes you just got to give people their props. You got to give them their flowers, man. So what Adam Silver implemented, why are y'all blaming LeBron James? It just so happened LeBron James and the Lakers went out there and won the thing. But y'all want to make these videos and bash LeBron James and the Lakers organization and Adam Silver because they're saying... You know, LeBron had a clear path to win it. The Lakers had a clear path to win it. Come on, man, guys. You can't have it both ways, man. If your team would have been in that situation won, let's take, for instance, what if the Clippers would have won? Clippers ain't won nothing. If they would have celebrated, y'all would have had no problem. Everybody was on this Tyrese um, Halliburton train leading up, these young Indiana Pacers. But in that last game, it just went to show when the bright lights are on, and you put a game plan together and Halliburton couldn't get off the way he was getting off against Boston and, and Milwaukee, the Lakers shut that down. And the Lakers went on to win it. Now, say Indiana would have won it. They would have been in the locker room, you know, celebrating too. Nobody would have never had a problem if one of these other teams outside the Lakers and LeBron James would have won. There's a lot of people that dislike lebron james for whatever reason that's our own personal opinions i have nothing against that but sometimes you just got to sit back and watch the body of work and give people their flowers while they're still here just like paul pierce and kg got into it live when they was commentating the game on their little channel when when kg was like name me five players that you would take over lebron james right now that's the hate that you know, Paul Pierce has in his heart for LeBron James, man. He don't like LeBron James. He's not going to give LeBron James his props for nothing. KG told him. Even when KG went to war with LeBron in the Boston days, they didn't care for LeBron James. But KG is sitting back watching. He went on Stephen A. Smith's podcast and he just said, man, you got to give it to Brian. You got to give this man his just dues. And that's basically what he was telling Paul Pierce. He said, I'm not a LeBron fan, but I'm calling it like I see it. A lot of people don't like to call it how they see it. And when somebody flips the script that went to war with LeBron, now they're on LeBron's side, everybody gets their panties up in the bunch. You got a couple clowns making these videos on anything that they can see that is any fault in LeBron. They'll make a video about it. They'll title it. Oh, this is embarrassing um you, this stuff gotta stop but the thing about it is lebron is head not headline news man he got these guys these haters that are on the internet trolling mad at him because the lakers won 
the end season tournament and he was the MVP. People don't like that because anything that's associated with LeBron, people are not going to like because that's trying to strengthen their argument that Michael Jordan is the GOAT and Kobe Bryant is the next best thing. Trying to be little and minimize the things that LeBron is doing to help their player out that they like. We got to stop that, man. LeBron got the internet going crazy right now. He got YouTube going crazy right now. You can go on YouTube right now and look at all the videos that are posted about LeBron in this in-season tournament. They're a bunch of haters, man. We got to stop that, man. We got to set back, like people say, and witness greatness. People cannot understand that. And then you go, you go to the far as people saying that, okay, he's 38 years old. How's he still doing this? He's juicing. He's doing this. Where'd he go get his shot at? What kind of meds is he taking? That stuff is blasphemy, man. That's egregious, man. Set back and just witness greatness, man. You know what I'm saying? I know LeBron is the hot topic right now, and everybody's trying to make a come up off of LeBron. I know that's what it is, man. So these guys that are out on YouTube making these videos, man, hey, kudos to y'all, man. Salute. It's working for you. But you ain't got to be little somebody for somebody to come to your channel and watch a video because you bashing LeBron James. And if, if it's about bashing LeBron James, people going to come to that channel and look at it. But keep being successful, man. Keep being successful, man. Whatever y'all doing out there is working, man. It's working. So you guys let me know what y'all feel like in the comments, man. Post your comment below. I like to hear from you. Post your comment below. I like to hear from you. Keep supporting the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Get it out there. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Drop Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. Catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.